Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this tutorial, I will give you important information about spreadsheet editor in Geometry Notes workspace. When you show this in Geometry Notes, it has been shown how a pipeline is created in Geometry Node editor, as shown here, which affects the object in the viewport editor. Objects included in the scene are listed in the outliner editor. Where they may be selected and hidden from a view, the geometry node modifier is shown in the properties editor. It's over here. The fifth editor in geometry node workspace is spreadsheet editor. It's over the spreadsheet editor. Displays coordinates for different aspects of the selected object. In our scene, we have the default cube. In 3D viewport editor, the position in 3D space of vertices, edges, faces, and face corners is represented in this spreadsheet editor. You can also hover over the spreadsheet editor window. You can also drag this a little bit to show. You group and put geometry notes and you have many other elements over here also press the T key to hide this panel the spreadsheet editor has a colon headed position containing the location of each of the cubes vertices as shown here 1 1 1 is the position on and the coordinates of uh, the position of this uh, vertex over there at this corner the position uh, and representation to three axes x y and z and also for the other vertices as shown here all the eight vertices we have eight is from zero to eight we have eight vertices represented by their coordinates in the 3d space when an object is transformed in 3d viewport editor by editing values in transform node editor you see the point coordinates change in the spreadsheet editor as shown here so let's try it shift a then let's uh, click on search transform for example drag it in between to edit mode grab it along x-axis this is gonna be changing some values over there and you can see it clearly also for this file value grab it along the z-axis it's gonna be changing some values for position of our cube as shown over there also you can play around with these values and this value like this it's going to be changing some values in the spreadsheet editor when trying to transform and translate some vertices and th uh, and that's it for the spreadsheet editor to show you what all these values can represent in our 3d viewport editor and how can be represented using some geometry notes in the shader in the geometry note editor thanks for watching